American farmers have been greatly affected by the U.S.-China trade war. That's over the last two years. The president has suggested that he would give additional bailout payments to farmers, but will he get their support to get reelected? Yahoo Finance's Adriana Belmonte joins us now with more on this. The farmers seem to still back the president despite the trade war. Yeah, they do. Uh, I, there was a recent poll that came out last month. It's from the Farm Journal Pulse, and they specifically survey farmers. Uh, they surveyed uh, over 1,000, and 83% of them approve of Trump so far in this administration, which is actually his highest approval rating so far uh, since I th think the trade war started, and 64% strongly approve of him. So it doesn't seem to be going away anytime soon. Do we know that which states they're in or just sort of typically the farm belt in the Midwest? Yeah, I don't think they broke it down by state, but um, it's likely th those areas because they're just strong agricultural producers and uh, Trump has really targeted those areas. Right. I mean, that said, we certainly talk anecdotally to people in those areas who are not necessarily supporters of the president. And at the end of the day, yes, it's an important area for him, but there aren't that many farmers. Exactly. I um, I spoke to one farmer who's planning on voting, who voted for Trump in 2016. He's still planning on voting for him. And I asked him, you know, why aren't the Democrats, you know, focusing as much in those areas? And he said, because, you know, we're, we only make up like 2% of the population. You know, we're a uh, small group, but they play such a big role. And another interesting point, too, is that, you know, I asked him if trade was the big thing. And he said it's really not the only factor in there. There's other things, too, that you wouldn't think matter to farmers as much, but things like taxes and regulations, that weighs heavily on their uh, their workforce as well. What about, you know, the prices for different products? Wheat is down right now, soybean down, corn is down. Do they address that issue, that farm bankruptcies at a record high at least last year and the, the prices for their goods falling? Yeah, I mean, they reach, it reached an all-time high, I think an eight-year high, I should say. Um, and, but the thing is, the farm bailouts have just been sustaining them this whole time. And now that there's even more coming, that, you know, they're still going to be able to hold on. And I think for a lot of them, too, it's almost that they don't want to, you know, kind of spite the administration because they've, uh, they've been helping them with their payments. So, yeah. All right. Thanks, Adriana. Appreciate it. Hey, investors. Zach Guzman here. Are you interested in learning more about the markets and getting the latest financial news? Well, then click right here to subscribe to our Yahoo Finance YouTube channel. Get the latest up-to-the-minute market analysis, big interviews in the world of finance, and information on how to manage your money every day, wherever you are.